A Bosnaz native 1080p LED projector is what we're looking at today. Now, as far as the projector market is currently going, this is on the pricier side of things when it comes to native 1080p projectors. But it does have a bunch of features that may make it worth the price of admission. For example, we're looking at a rated 100,000 hour lamp life, which is double what I've seen on other projectors, along with a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. We have 4D keystone adjustment and also a one touch button adjustment for vertical keystone to keep your image nice and straight as well as a one touch 20% increase of brightness whenever you need that extra power to see the image. So that's actually really cool because I've never seen that before. It also has dual hi-fi speakers so it should have some amazing sound quality. I mean this thing feels a lot heavier than the other projectors that I've been looking at. As far as image size is considered, this thing is rated to go up to 300 inches of screen size but that's kind of normal when it comes to these big 1080p projectors. Although with that 20% increase of brightness, this thing might actually pack more of a punch. Now with that being said, I'm pretty excited to see what Bosnas has brought to the table, so let's get inside this thing and check it out. Inside the box I have a user manual, some composite AV cables, a microfiber cleaning cloth, an HDMI cable, a remote control, a power cable, and two threaded feet to prop up the projector. And now as far as the projector goes, this thing still does have some weight to it. It feels nice. Let's get this foam out the way, and let's see what Bosnas is bringing to the table. Ooh, whew. okay, so I might be kind of stupid, but I was looking at the white picture on the box and it had white and black, so I was expecting this to be white. So I'm really surprised to see that it's black, has a nice matte black finish along with some glossy black going through the creases. Over here on the top, we have the remote control. We have menu, up, down, left, right, okay, a source button, a back button, as well as a power button, all very clicky. Over here on the top, we have the keystone adjustment as well as the focus knob so you can get a nice clear picture. Now over on the front, we're looking at a very large lens cap, very hard shell. Opening that up, we have the native 1080p lens looking very nice. We'll put the lens cap back on to protect it. Right next to it, we have some Bosnes branding along with an infrared receiver for the remote control. Over on the side, we have two USB-A ports. Over on the back, we're looking at another infrared receiver, a composite AV port, a 3.5mm headphone and speaker port, a VGA port, and two HDMI ports, as well as a power port down at the bottom. And right next to it, it looks like we have a speaker grill. Over on the other side, nothing to see. However, down on the bottom, we have four rubberized feet, which have no grip whatsoever. So they're kind of pointless, but it's better than nothing and not much else to see, but four mounting ports so you can mount this to your roof. Now, with that being said, this projector feels high quality. It looks great and the price, I'm kind of expecting some greatness here. And plus with that 20% increase of brightness, I'm expecting this to have a very clear, sharp, bright image. So let's go see if the Bosnes projector packs that punch. It's like I have a clean slate, a fresh start. All right, y'all, I am back and I really wish I had better news to come back to you guys with, but really, there isn't that much. And the even worse news about this whole situation is all the good news I do have is kind of just completely out the window based on all the bad news that I have. So first things first, we have a native 1080p picture. It is nice and bright. It's usable during the day, but you know, still not super amazing. So you're definitely gonna have some curtains on your window if you plan to use this during the day. But as far as picture quality goes, the native 1080p does look good, but, and there's a huge but on this one, the actual color representation is terrible and completely out the window and based on that this projector just completely sucks now what do i mean by that i mean for whatever reason there are some serious green and yellow undertones everywhere and they are especially noticeable if there's green or yellow on the screen it starts blending it with the other stuff i was like what i tried to adjust the settings i tweaked everything the color temperature when i turned it to cool it got a little bit better but then it looked a little too cool to me and it just didn't look good at all no matter what i did i tried to turn the green all the way down and then the whole picture started looking yellow instead of green and it was just a nightmare i mean based on that i really don't have to go any further because the picture quality was just terrible because of all the green and the yellow hues now with that being said moving on to sound quality the fan is actually pretty quiet in the 50 decibel range not too loud and easy to drown out as far as the speaker quality goes it's I mean I was expecting more but I mean the it was clear but it wasn't loud 
so it wasn't the worst I've ever heard, but it definitely wasn't the best I've ever heard. It was, you know, somewhere in the middle. It was okay quality wise, but you know, it could have definitely been a lot louder. Now with that being said, of course you could game, but I was looking at a river that was supposed to be blue, but the green from the grass was blending into the blue of the river and making it look green, so that was really weird and I didn't like that. The latency was okay though. I mean really, this is one of the priciest projectors in this class and it just completely missed the mark. And to make things even crazier, the HDMI cable that it came with was completely busted out of the box. I was using it, the screen kept flickering, getting all static, then it completely died on me. I couldn't get the sound to work whatsoever, so I had to swap it with an HDMI cable that I know works, and then that's how I was able to actually get things to function properly. But the quality of the actual picture coming from this projector is just terrible. You could definitely get a better projector for less money than this one. I mean, I don't know how it's so green and yellow, but it is. Otherwise, it'd be a decent projector, although for the price, I mean, there's cheaper options that, you know, have better speakers, similar or better picture quality, and, you know, the colors are represented accurately. So this is definitely a no for me. If you guys have one, maybe you guys like it. I don't know, but I definitely do not recommend this one.